Today's episode of Thrive Gwinnett is brought to you by Rocket IT. We help businesses leverage and automate their technology to ensure each day is more profitable than the last. Your technology should work for you in a way that grows your business and helps you reach your goals. To learn if your organization could benefit from one of Rocket IT's personalized roadmaps, visit rocketit.com forward slash roadmap help or click the link in this episode's description. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in for another great episode of Thrive Gwinnett. I'm your host, Colleen Frangos. I am Rocket IT's Community Relationship Coordinator. And joining me today, I have Marina Pete, who is the Executive Director for Mosaic Georgia. So welcome, Marina. Well, well, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we've got a a lot to cover today with uh, the great organization that you uh, lead the charge of. And, um, you know, recently, although you've been supporting them in in a more volunteer capacity for a a very long time, this is a more than 30 year old organization. Back in 2018, you guys went through a rebranding effort. And that's also when you officially came on as the executive director. So I'd love to hear from you, Marina, versus me running the show here. (laughs) Tell us all about Mosaic Georgia. Thank you so much, Colleen. It's really a pretty exciting story. Um, You're right, we're entering our 35th year of service in Gwinnett County. We started out as Gwinnett Rape Crisis Center, Mm -hmm. and I began as a crisis volunteer back in 1992, I guess, carrying a pager back when people who experienced rape or sexual assault would go to the emergency department for the exam. And we Mm -hmm. have trained volunteers like myself and a sexual assault nurse examiner would go to the ED. So we were doing that for quite a while, but what people may not know, we've evolved and we work as a sexual assault center and a children's advocacy center. And those names can be kind of scary for folks. And Mm -hmm. we went through rebranding and came up with the name Mosaic Georgia because we help people put the pieces of their lives back together when they've experienced such a personal violation or assault. And our primary focus is Gwinnett County, but Mm -hmm. we will also work with folks from the area or they may live in Gwinnett, but an assault or a child sexual abuse may have occurred in another community. So we're here for all of our community, regardless of where they may have experienced something terrible. And we also, uh, one of our unique features is that we have exam rooms and we have a medical component at Mosaic Georgia. That's fantastic. So people don't go to the emergency department, come call our crisis line and come in and see us here. That is wonderful. Yeah, no, I I think that's so helpful just to have a safe, safe space and not to feel overwhelmed by so many different things going on that you would find at a going into a hospital or something. So I love that. You know, I think we'd be remiss to not discuss how the pandemic has affected Mosaic Georgia and your team and their ability to help support folks who've experienced a traumatic event in their life. So how how has that been for you all? I won't lie. It's been pretty stressful. Mm -hmm. Just the logistics. We have been able to remain open 24 seven. Wow. We we our standard business hours are 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, which Mm -hmm. means we have a full complement of staff and services. But for those after hours and weekends, we have SANES and advocates, SANE is a sexual assault nurse examiner. We have a team that's on call. And so they can come out in the middle of the night and do a forensic medical exam. We work very closely with law enforcement as well and DFACs. It's been stressful, one, keeping everybody healthy making sure our our center itself is safe because right. we don't know who's coming in where they're coming from or what their exposures might be mm-hmm. so we've invested a lot not just in ppe but in cleaning sanitizing and 
maintaining safe distances yeah for for staff so 2020 i had lots of plans to do some other things but i would say that the logistics piece has been very trying mm -hmm. also there's the mental health emotional stress for our 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 teammates because they've got their own concerns and family things and then you add covid on it it's plus we deal with trauma all the time so it's yes. just an extra level of trauma i think one of the things i'm really proud of though is that we did extend our hours and also we were able to secure financial resources to help many of our clients because they come in after experiencing an assault but they also have additional issues maybe with housing mm. or transportation or true paying utility bills particularly if the person who caused the harm lives in the household or is the yeah. main breadwinner for the family so we were at, able to get some of the Gwinnett, the CARES money through Gwinnett County, okay. as well as the United Way of Metro Atlanta. And we kind of pieced dollars together so we could help people with some of their emergency needs as well. So I'm really That's proud fantastic. of our, our, our team. Yeah, we were, we deployed probably over $200,000 in direct services to help people. Cause you know, these times are tough for everybody. Sure. True. Add to it a violation mm. of such a personal late nature in your home. It does really turn things up. We've also yeah. expanded our support groups because, you know, people are stuck at home. True. And so we've done more virtual support groups for adult victims mm -hmm. or adolescents, teenagers, and then also for caregivers, for parents of children who experienced uh, some sort of abuse and those wow. have really taken off and it gives people an outlet because when something like this happens, you don't, it's just not something you always want to talk about or right. the people in your family that know just tired of hearing about it. You know, there's just so much stuff. So we really were able to kind of open up and find new ways yeah. to, to help people with that just in time support that's fantastic gotta love technology it's a beautiful thing and that's great that we have that to to be able to still connect and you know so yeah. I mean, you can just feel so isolated during these times so i, I think having that as, a, as an option and for people to feel comfortable enough to to utilize it i think that's great and you guys had a good response with this that's wonderful yeah yeah well all right so marina let's let's also talk a little bit about moving forward you know into 2021 you know and beyond what what is what does it look like for mosaic georgia how are, how are things going moving forward well we're you know gwinnett county is our primary community and we've got almost yeah. a million people here and mm -hmm. we're continuing to grow we are as we're building our staff capacity mm -hmm. we're um hiring people not only that are that know this victim services advocacy type work but right. also that have additional language and life experience so i'm really yeah. proud that our our staff is pretty diverse and um, most of them don't look like me and so we're able to really do more outreach into the communities we know people don't like to talk about these kinds of personal crimes and in in some cultures it's even more taboo to talk about that so right. we're just trying to get engagement and working on our prevention a new piece though is we are now a certified human trafficking services provider through the oh, wow. state and so we're doing more now with CSEC, which is the commercial sexual exploitation of children. And with wow. the largest school system, it means we've got the most kids in, you yes. know, in Gwinnett County in the state. So a large part of our population, our kiddos are experiencing or at risk for oh, dear. Really? becoming exploited sexually. So as well as trafficked. So we've been working with the state and the referral line 
and we mm-hmm. have a coordinator who's focused on working with trafficked youth and to provide the the advocacy and also the support and resources they need yeah. to to try wow. to regain some some healing. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, you guys can do it all. You just you just We're, need you need bodies. <laughs> we need bodies. We yes. need resources. It's yeah. not cheap. Ex- yeah, exactly. But I think people a lot of times people think about rape or sexual assault and they have a certain image in their minds mm-hmm. and our data from just looking at the thousands of families or people that we victims that we've served over the years is mm-hmm. that there's really different different types in terms of who gets assaulted by whom and what those relationships are and mm-hmm. So we we look forward to getting back onto campus at Georgia Gwinnett College. They're a great partner of ours, and we do training for their RAs and their staff okay. and um, student leadership groups and so on. And then we also have some prevention programs. So we're just itching to get back out into the yes. community. And when schools yes. have their health fairs and those kinds of things, I think 2021, hopefully we can all get vaccinated and get some herd immunity and Mm -hmm. really get out and have those friendly conversations, lift the stigma about this. Right, right. Well, and to kind of add on that as we're kind of wrapping up our conversation, you know, continuing with that community support and, and there's a lot of different ways that Mosaic Georgia has for our for folks to get involved. And and you kind of hit on in one just kind of being that voice and helping share the message at, you know, health fairs and and getting on campus. You know, what are the variety of ways that Mosaic Georgia needs our help? Well, we like ambassadors in all shapes and all shapes and sizes and forms. And so one is to learn more about the issues. Right. I I say that if I say I'm a cancer survivor, people want to know more. If I say I'm a sexual assault survivor, they want to go the other way. So part of it is how do we get comfortable about having conversations about Mm -hmm. these kinds of crimes? And then also just to know that there's this awesome service in our community, Mosaic Georgia, there's no charge for any of our services, no co-pays, no parking things. We have good snacks. And our crisis line is staffed 24-7 by trained professionals. So even if somebody just has a question or, you know, my daughter came back from spring break or my son's friend had a question or whatever um we we're here to answer questions for the community so just helping let people know that we're out here is great and then later if you want to train and become a volunteer in some way we can certainly consider that as well very cool very cool Awesome. Well, Marina, I've enjoyed this. It's been an education and and a delight to hear more about all that uh, Mosaic Georgia is accomplishing and providing for our community. We need you. And I'm glad to hear that you're leading the charge and, and you're doing a fabulous job. So thank you, Marina, for joining me today. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Awesome. All right, everybody. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in for another great conversation on Thrive Gwinnett. And until next time, have a wonderful day. 